In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the uh, Star Wars uh, Galactic Battlegrounds Expanded Front mod. Uh, it's super easy. Uh, I'll explain everything during the video. And so let's get started right, right now. Let's do it. Also, this tutorial is only for the for the uh, CD version because that's the one I did. So this is like the Steam version and the GOG version will be down in the description. So it's pretty much the same concept, but just in case you have a little get a little confused, everything will be in the description. And yeah, it's gonna be sick. So the first thing you want is to run over to your internet. Uh, if you don't have internet, sorry, I can't help you. And you want to type in uh, the expand in front mod. So it's right there. Uh, the link it will be in the description, so you won't even have to do that. But if you don't want to use the link in the description, you can type it out. So you go to this website. This is what it looks like, and you run down to download now. Then you run down and you press it again, <laughs> and then you press this button. You press that right there. There's gonna be an ad, and I'm like, oh, go away, man, go away, man. And you see that thing in the corner right there? That's that means it's downloading. So. It, it went away and you do it again I already have it downloaded so that's why I'm just deleting it but basically you're downloading the file so you just let it download and you see this thing called open file right there so you press that you click that little thing right there you get the game see I got it I already have it on my desktop because I'm big smart and yeah so I just get rid of everything and minimize all that crap and then you run over to that yeah that's the way word you're gonna get a word document two word documents in the game files you want the game file that's why I have them separate then you run over to LucasArts and you click more file location then you find uh, the original game then you click uh, file location again my computer my friggin cameras all messed up over here then what you want to do is put the game file in the same area as the game you don't want it you don't want to connect it to the game like you just want to slap it in that little area you know what I mean and it'll merge together basically so I can't really wait I already have it downloaded but I can't really show you basically you want to run that uh, that application right there you want to click run it's gonna tell you to oh I don't like this and you're gonna say well too bad Bubba and you run it as administration you keep slamming it in the head basically until it starts to run and then and once you have a download it will not be full screen so right now I'm showing you how to get it to full screen so basically you go to configuration then you go to uh, then you go to your display you just type in resolution to your search bar and it should be somewhere down in, in there uh, display settings you run down you change it to that all the all those settings and it should work just fine Cut. <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah you make a shortcut by just you know going you just uh, clicking on it making a shortcut and you run down and basically if your graphics card doesn't like the game as much you run over you click properties and you change you change the property to whatever you want what to like whatever you want and uh, yeah, with whoever one that works. So basically, if and like in my video, it will. Uh, this this works for my computer, but your computer might be different. So uh, just keep messing with it until uh, until you find one that works, and then you just save the settings. And that also, if you might encounter like a little problem uh, with the. Uh, it's like W I N L something uh, 32 or something X <laughs> like some sort of weird problem and it's you know, it might tell you to reinstall the game only thing you got to do there is just reinstall it basically you can just you can run over to the website again press the download button and then it'll show you all the files that you download then you just click on it again you still basically just do it over again it's freaking annoying but uh, if it happens to you it's all right also uh, Everything's going to be in the description, like everything from the Word document, just in case you don't have Microsoft Word, it's going to be in the description. You're welcome. Uh, the link to the website is going to be in the description, like I said. Uh, every sort of problem that you might face, it comes with that uh, instructions. Uh, I might pick and choose because YouTube's like, 
oh, you only have 5,000 words. And I'm like, well, if I can't fit it all, then I'll just pick, pick the most important ones. So everything's going to be down in the description just for you guys. Just in case you, like, if you don't understand what happened in this video. So basically, you just follow these steps. Uh, you should be able to download it. And once you have it, just create a shortcut in your des desktop because it's going to be a pain to run through all those files again to have it, uh, you know, have to play the game. You just create a little shortcut in your desktop like I do, and then you can play it then. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you got, I hope this helped you. Uh, so, peace out, players. Players? Yeah. <laughs>